Hello everyone. Congratulations on getting your wonderful tiny joy machine. And if you're looking for videos to help you through the process of creating your own Cricut ID and how to set it up using your Windows system or to set it up using your iPad or to set it up using your Android device, you are in the right place. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the entire process and also show you how to do test cuts. Let's get started. Hello everyone, I am Ruchira and I am the designer behind FunLearn. Today's session is especially about unboxing a new Cricut Joy machine. This machine belongs to my sister-in-law and she has gracefully agreed to let me open it for you and set it up so that it's easy for you all to follow when you all get your new machines. So let's get started. I'll first unbox it and here's the box. I'm just going to do this and this and then gently lift this up okay and that reveals the joy machine box so this is the cricket joy box as you will receive it okay now we're going to remove the tape gently lift the flap up and that reveals a new Joy Cricut machine. Now I'm going to gently take this out. And you see how tiny it is. Right? I'm going to keep it aside for now. And I'm going to show you, you get, this is an envelope which has a smart vinyl, a piece of cardstock, but this is from my set, so uh, it's going to be the same uh, the, the, the same card stock for the new machine. Some installation instructions, some safety guidelines, and the warranty. Okay, this is inside this envelope. Next, there's this piece. But before that, we have this piece of cord. This is half of the cord. The other half is right over here. You also get a blade, sorry, a pen and a blade. The blade is already installed in the machine. Okay. And this is the Cricut Joy pen. Okay. I'm going to keep this back because I'm going to use the one that I already have. So I'm just going to keep this back. And this is the power cord. This part goes in here. Then this is the adapter part. And this goes inside here at the back of the body and there's also this plug if you want to use a three point plug plug then you can use this one there's a two point plug that is included which is right over here so this is what all is included in the box I'm going to save this box because I'm going to use it for shipping but even if you are not going to ship it anywhere I would still suggest you save the box because if you're moving to different places or if you want to carry it and you do not do not have a cricket joy tote bag then it will help you to uh, like move it from uh, one place to another without getting damaged okay this is the new joy machine that i'm going to open so being very careful i'll just run my blade at the center over here and i wish my sister-in-law had the joy of opening this but she is wonderful for generously and gracefully letting me do this for the sake of everyone so thank you again so this is the little joy machine and you see that there is no USB cable included. That means uh, this does not need a USB cable to connect to your existing machines, uh, be it your phone, which is Android, uh, or your iPad, which is iOS, or your Mac, or your Windows system. So you can use any of these four devices to connect with your joy machine. And uh, you will need a Bluetooth connection for it. My current computer does not have a Bluetooth connection, so I have purchased a dongle this okay this is a bluetooth dongle that i have purchased i will link it down in the description so that uh, you can purchase it if you want to and i'm going to open this for the first time i'm just going to angle it like this so that you can see it there so you see there's a styrofoam included this is very important because this will keep the moving head the cartridge head safe when it is being transported okay 
and I am going to gently remove this. This is the piece that needs to be removed. This is the Cricut Joy mat, the standard grip mat that comes along with the machine, that came along with my machine. Okay. Okay. That, that is the pen that comes along with the with the joy this is mine I'm just gonna keep it now uh, setting up the device you need a Bluetooth connection as I told you you also need space behind the machine so around uh, 10 inches behind the machine because the mat that we this is the mat that we use it it goes through from in here and go, comes out from this slot this is how the material moves so you need ample space behind the machine as well when you work with it and uh, next I am going to create a Cricut ID so that I can show you how to connect your device using Cricut Design Space because Cricut Joy cannot work on its own it will need an app to go with it because you need to send instructions to your Joy machine to be able to cut or draw okay and that app is Cricut Design Space. It's a free software that you can download from Cricut's website. You actually need to go to the instructions as it has uh, told over here in the Let's Get Started panel. And it says just go to cricut.com slash setup. So that's where you're going to go on my Windows machine and I'll help you set it up on a Windows computer. I will also show you how to set it up on an Android device and on my iPad. So I'm right over here. And I'm going to use the same um, URL which says cricket.com slash setup. Okay, when I do that, you will also need an internet connection to work with your uh, Cricket Joy. You will click on set, setting up a new machine and then I agree to Cricket's terms and conditions and download now. This will help you download Cricut Design Space on your computer. Now I will need to click on this and install this software. So simple, just clicking will install it. This is a screen which opens up once you are done installation. Over here you will need to click on new product setup. Okay. When I click on this, it will show me this place where I need to sign in. Okay. So here is where if you are new, you can create your new Cricut ID. So for me it is um, my sister-in-law's ID and the password. Uh, make sure you remember your password, write it down somewhere or just remember it really well. We do not want to have a machine and then forget the password so that we cannot just log in. Then first name, last name and then you have to choose your country. Send me big discounts, agree to Cricket's terms and then create Cricket ID. It's as simple as this. There. Now it wants us to get set up and we have to choose one smart cutting machine that's going to be Joy. I'm going to click here and now you see there is a plethora of all the machines that you can choose from. I'm going to choose Cricut Joy. Just like I told you it says leave 10 inches of space behind Cricut Joy. So and next uh, we want to plug it in and next we want to connect via Bluetooth and system settings. Okay. So in my Windows system I need to turn the Bluetooth settings on. This is the power cord. I am going to insert this right over here and turn my machine on here and just start typing Bluetooth and other devices and then click over here. This will open up the Bluetooth settings. Currently I have a device connected which is my first Joy machine which is right over here which is already paired but I will click add and audio or all other kinds and there it found me joy uh, 81 ed this is the new joy machine i'll click on it and it will start connecting and it's, it's ready to go i'm going to click done i'll go back to cricket design space and over here select a cricket joy and i'll select this one the new cricket joy and it will start to connect with it there i'm going to click continue and it says do you want to add cricket joy to your cricket id i'm going to say yes agree and activate. The machine registration is successful. Now this machine is uh, connected with my uh, sister-in-law's account. That is what I wanted to do. You will go ahead and connect it with your own account. Okay. Next, make sure everything is working. We will walk you through a cut. Okay. It's also a fun way to learn how your machine works. So this is where I can go ahead and choose a design and uh, use how it works. But for now, I'm going to skip it. 
because I will cover it later. Okay. So this is how you set up. You you can always access these images from Canvas. I'm going to say I'm going to say click OK. And now it brings me to the screen which is Cricut Design Space. It wants me to try access. Uh, the thing is, you can try access for free for 30 days, and this is uh, something which is a great opportunity because you will get access to more than uh, three lakh images, and you can use them as much as you want. Mm, but I would recommend you do it when you are actually cutting the things. Okay, uh, for my sister-in-law, I would like her to try access when the machine reaches her. So for now, I'm not going to enroll in here. But if you're interested on how you can uh, sign up for ticket access, I have another video coming up, so you can uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can look at that video as well and learn how to sign up for ticket access. Okay, and that's it. Then you can go to Canvas. And this is how the working screen looks for Cricut Design Space. Here you see there's one machine connected, which, which is Joy. So I can actually use it to make anything using my Cricut Joy machine. So I'm going to do a simple test cut. So I'm going to type "Stay Creative." I can cut this. You can from here you can change the basic operation whether you want to draw it or do you want to cut it. I will let it cut. Currently, it is 11 centimeters by 5.9 centimeters, which is a lot for my liking. So I'll bring it down. Over here, you can access a lot of Cricut's own fonts. There are a lot of Cricut's free fonts. So you can click here and find free Cricut fonts. So these are all that you can use for free. You can also use your own system fonts. So you can select a system font from here and then choose from there. I'm going to select Bioshock. And there it is. This is currently five centimeters by three point nine centimeters. It's it's still going to be big, so I'm going to be, like scale it down to around four centimeters, and then I'm going to combine and say unite, so it all is together. Then I'm going to click make it. Now, how do you want to make it? Do you want to cut it without mat? Do you want to use it on mat or on card mat? So uh, currently, I'm going to go for without mat because I already have got a piece of uh, smart vinyl that I can use for this operation, and I'll click confirm. You can change the material load type from here. I'm going to click got it. I'm going to pick some cricket smart vinyl. Um, this is some brand new stuff that I just got for the prime deals. This is the smart vinyl. Okay. The piece that you have got with your machine would look something like this. This is the same smart vinyl. Okay. So you can just insert it like this. Okay. I'll first take you to Cricut Design Space back again. I'll click on continue. It will say select the device. I'm going to select this one. It will try to find my joy and try to connect with it. There. I'm going to select smart vinyl permanent because this is what we have over here. So uh, the reason why I'm using this is that with Cricut you have built-in settings that you can use for Cricut's own material. It's not that you cannot cut other material. It's just that it makes everything easy and a breeze. So I'm going to select this and the pressure to be default and then it wants me to load the fine point blade in and load the material into machine. So I'll take you back to the table and here's when you see the blade is already inserted. I'm going to open the clamp and show you the blade. Right over here, there's a brand new blade. Put it back in, close it, and then I'm going to insert the smart material in. Now it has checked, and now it would like me to go ahead and click go. Okay, back to design space. Here is where I'll click go and take you back to the table. It has finished cutting. I will take you back to design space and click unload. It has unloaded. And you see it has already cut the design. And this we will need to read, okay? Read it. By reading I mean remove the unwanted parts. I will just cut the parts. Okay. Obviously from this part on I will be able to use back it in, in the machine back again. But this part over here can be used with a mat. So I am going to keep it back here. And this part I will read, okay? And by reading uh, I mean, 
use something to remove the unwanted parts okay so this is a weeder and you see how easy it is to remove the parts that we don't want see simple as that there you go we have completely weeded it now we need to transfer it okay and for transferring we need something which is called a transfer tape so i have got this roll which i use with my uh, bigger projects and i have done that with maker and i actually had cut a tiny piece from it which can be reused so i'm just going to use this one i normally do this i just save the pieces and i can reuse them so using this i'm going to keep this on top like this this piece has to be a teeny bit bigger than cut vinyl and this is called burnishing so you make sure that the vinyl is nicely stuck on the transfer tape next i'm going to turn it upside down and i'm just going to roll this back roll the piece of smart vinyl back so there it has removed now we have it stuck to this and now i can use this to uh, decorate anything i'll just put it over here and make it a card for her okay over here and this i can just remove and then burnish this also and then remove it and then i save this again there it is just going to fold it now i'll show you how to use the pen okay we will use it to write it over here but in the in the next part so with this we have covered how to install your joy machine on a uh, windows com i also showed you how to create your own ricket uh, profile and uh, we have done a test cut using smart vinyl so this is how i would do it using my android i will go to play store and search ricket design space app and then install it okay next i'm going to click open and now it asks me to set up the machine okay so next i will click on machine setup and takes me back over here over here i will need to sign in uh, using my id and password so the id that i used i'm just going to use the same the one that i created so i'm going to use and if i want to create a new id over here i will use the same way as i did using my windows system and i will enter the password and i click sign in i will allow click on join machine to set up connect allow allow it would want me to pair a new device which is the new join machine uh, go to settings in settings i'll go to bluetooth and check available devices i was trying to find the available devices and there you can find joy t1d that is the new joy machine now it's pairing and pair so we land here in ticket design space i can go to canvas the context and write enjoy that space capital e and this is a cut font so i want to set select this single layer writing and then go back we we'll choose this one it will look like this and oh, this is so go back it looks like this i will increase the letter spacing to my liking too much and this is okay okay and i want this to be uh, written on the card that i made okay draw a machine i'm going to open this and i'm going to remove this plate and keep it in a safe place and this is a ticket joy pen that comes along with the ticket joy i'm going to insert this close the clamp right over here and this card i am going to place like this because i want to write over here so that i write it upside down over here so that it comes the right side up and put it over here and then use the brayer so that it stays put this is ready this i am going to rotate to 180 degrees and then i am going to click make it now it's going to be on mat and confirm so it shows me project copies over here i'm going to click next this i'm going to turn like this 
and since it is currently too big i want it to resize so i'll go back and resize it so it's currently 9 cm by 3.48 cm i'm going to shrink it down and then click make it on mat confirm next over here i'm going to rotate it completely and then bring it over here and you see over here it is around 8 cm and 10 cm so i am going to place it at round round here and then i'm going to click next now to connect to joy and just medium card stock it will ask me to load the black pen that i just did load mat when ready and then insert the mat is checking the length and then i'm going to press go over here that's it it's done i'm going to click and load over here and click finish and then take this thing out take the pen out keep the cap back on close the machine turn this mat upside down remove the card and now we have it stay creative enjoy I would have placed it a little better, but still I'm happy with it. So we have finished uh, connecting our Joy to Windows system. We have also uh, connected our Joy to our uh, Android device. Next, I'm going to connect my Joy machine to my iPad. So that is coming up next. So we will continue connecting our new Cricut Joy machine to our iPad. This is uh, the App Store. Over here, I'm going to type Cricut Design Space. That will open, and I have it installed. I have already got my Cricut Design Space installed, so I'll just open it and click on Machine Setup. It wants me to continue. I'll click Continue. Now it will try to authenticate me. That means I need to sign in. If I have not created my ID, this is the time when I'll create my ID. The process will be just the same as I have done in my Windows System installation. And currently, I'm just going to sign in. So I'm going to put in the ID. And there we have it. It asks us which machine do we want to set up, and I'm going to connect to it. Joy. Now it wants us to have our machine turned on, so it is turned on. First, this device needs to be paired, just like we have paired it with our Android device and our computer. So that's what I'll do. I'll go to settings, and then go to Bluetooth, and there it has found it. I'm going to select Joy 81 ED, and now it's connected. I'll go back to Cricut Design Space. I'll click connect and our joy is activated and ready to get started i'm going to click continue here again it wants me to try to get access you should sign up for credit access when you are ready to you know just dive in and make all the projects for my sister-in-law this is not the right time because the when she get the machine that's when i want her to sign up because the initial one month is free so you can try it out and see for yourself if you want to uh, get credit access I'll have another tutorial wherein I'll show you how to join credit access. Okay, so now I'm going to click skip, and it wants me to do a test cut, and wants me to just choose one of these images. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to select this, and click next, and then it wants me to confirm if the blade is there. So I'm going to open it. The blade is not there because I removed it. This is the blade. So I'm going to put the blade back in. The blade is in. Next, it wants me to insert the smart vinyl under the, under the guide. So that's what I'll do. It has taken it in. It's preparing for a cut. I'm going to hit go. It says cuts in progress. That means the data from the machine, from the device, is sent to the machine. And now it is cutting. And there, it has finished cutting. So over here, I'm going to click unload. And there you see, it's cut. So now I can go ahead and beat it. What I'll do is, I'll trim it. And this is something that I'll send to her, so that she can use it where she wants. She actually loves sunflowers. And this vinyl, I can use it again. 
through the rest of the pieces to make tiny things. You know, I make a lot of tiny things. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that I can show you more of the stuff, the fun stuff that I do with my machines that you would need for something like this. So I'm going to weave the insides. Now, it cannot just be taken out and be stuck on anything. You will need a proper transfer tool for this. Sorry, a proper transfer tape for this. So I'm just going to close this, put this aside and this is stick a transfer tape that is needed for transferring this design. What you see here is uh, the Cricut uh, Smart Vinyl. Cricut also has non-smart vinyl <laughs> which can be used along with the mat. There are also other brands available that you can use. Cricut does not require you to use only Cricut branded materials but these are definitely coded into the machine so you get perfect cuts every time. Now this I will need. I will just place it over here so that I know how big my, my transfer tape requirement is and then I can just cut along the lines and it is gridded and it's partially see-through so it lets me see the design. Here. Need to place it over, over the design. There, I pulled on it a little, and then I'll stick it back over here on this piece of packing that was behind the transfer tape and I'm going to include this with her card. Uh, these decals that can go with resin, you can personalize many things. It also works with heat transfer vinyl. Its blade is a fine point blade. It can help you cut through cardstock. You can create insert cards, you can create cutaway cards, both of which I will cover in future videos. I'll just show you a glimpse of uh, what insert cards and cutaway cards look like. So these are cutaway cards. You cut through them to create something like like this. So these are drawn over and also cut through and here is where you put the insert. So you can see through the, see, see through the cut, cut parts. If this is a cutaway card and there are also insert cards that you can look at. This, these are in, insert cards. These are all five and a half by four and a quarter inches in size and they have inserts to go with it. Beautiful inserts and the reason why I like to have these on hand is that they are cut to perfect size, they cut really well in my machine and always give clean crisp results and Cricut is, the design space app is already coded with the cut settings so that you get perfect cuts every single time and there are also envelopes included so you don't need to think about anything else because you know you're in a rush and you need to make cards. So uh, if you have any questions regarding anything, I'll be happy to answer them all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that I can make more videos like this and help you in your cricket journey. And uh, also I'm a cricket contributing artist. So my designs are also available on cricket design space. So in the cricket access program, I will link my profile down in the description so that you can give me a follow. Also, uh, there is a website where I upload my designs. So if you want to purchase them separately, you can purchase them separately. Cricut does not require you to subscribe to Cricut Access. And, but it, you need Cricut Design Space, the app, to work with Cricut Join, which is free. So even if you don't have a Join machine, you want to explore Cricut Design Space, you can still go ahead and install it on your machine and walk through and see how it works. It's quite easy and very intuitive. And uh, I'm going to create more projects using the new Cricut Joy, not this one, but my own Cricut Joy, which is the older one, and be showing them all to you. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you think there is someone else who can benefit from this video, then please uh, send this video to them. Give this video a like so that I know that people are there who want to watch videos like these and it also boosts the algorithm so it will be, it will be visible to more people like you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.